Okay, greetings once again, internet friends. It's the amazing Fleck. Hey, and my manager, Lucy the Cat. Say hi to the internet, Lucy. Well, today's post is going to be all about Lucy the Cat. <laughs> calm down, everyone, calm down. Lucy's been my buddy since about 2010. The first time I met Lucy is when I went to my friend's house in Gross Point. 10 years ago. And there Lucy was sitting on the floor and I went down and I asked my friend what Lucy's name was. She replied Lucy and I said Lucy with my arms out like this and she just came prancing up to me and and we've been friends ever since then. My friend's name is Irina and we ended up dating for a while, a couple of years in fact. We eventually ended up living together and after things weren't working out so well she decided that she needed to go and live in California for a little while. I'm not going to play the blame game, but I was at fault. And due to Lucy not like being inside car carriers, like the cat carriers, like those little cages, and a number of other factors considering, Irina asked me if I would like to become Lucy's caretaker. Of course, I had to say yes and accept the offer, the opportunity to coexist with Lucy. It's crazy to think that it's been 10, 11 years at this point. And just today, me and Lucy, we went to go see the vet. A couple years ago, we went to go see the same vet. The vet said that she should probably get her teeth cleaned, but it wasn't so bad. And I wish that I did that back a couple years ago, because this time it looks like she really needs teeth cleaned, and she has some gingivitis, which is probably why your breath smells so horrible. Yeah. But we got some antibiotics for that. She's going to be okay, everyone. Lucy will be okay. They said another two weeks to come back, schedule another appointment, and we'll get her teeth cleaned and get her some, some fresh shots to make sure that she's fully vaccinated against anything that might harm the feline community. So when Irina first found Lucy, I think it was at the uh, Gross Point Animal Shelter, or an animal shelter in Gross Point, I'm not sure if that is actual animal shelter or not. And at that point, Lucy had already given birth to a litter of kittens and was estimated to be between one and three years old. So that puts Lucy between 12 and 15 years old, somewhere in that range. We're not really sure. According to the vet today, her heart sounds really good. I thought that she might have had an ear infection or, or some sort of problem with her hearing, but apparently her ears are perfectly fine. And she just has selective hearing when it comes to me calling her. She always seems to know when I have food, though, coming into her bowl, so that's interesting. Anyways, though, Lucy's my everyday. She's my best friend, and she's got me through some really tough times. I can have the worst day in the world, and. I can always come home and she'll be excited to see me. She never fails to keep my lap warm. If I'm sitting long enough, she'll eventually be there. Except in the summertime, she'd rather sit away, like an extra foot or two away from me, but she'd like to be next to me when it gets really hot outside. Because we don't have air conditioning. No, we don't, do we, Lucy? Yeah, air conditioning's for rich people. Or rather, air conditioning's for people who can afford air conditioning. And that's more or less a very short, condensed history of, of me and Lucy's friendship. I can't believe it's been 11 years at this point. I mean, time really does fly by. I almost wish that I spent more time getting photos of her and I as time moved on. But I've never been good at photos or videos. And that's one thing that I'm getting a lot out of this whole experience of doing the YouTube channel and posting daily is I find myself taking more photos and doing more video, of course, and documenting more things. It's kind of neat to have some sort of a documentation or a journal or a blog happening that I can look back on later on. Because after all, life is nothing but just a bunch of different experiences. Not to get all philosophical, but that's what it is, right? We just have these moments and they're gone. And then on to a new moment. For better or for worse, whatever happens just kind of happens. At the end of the day, be sitting next to someone or something that you love very much, but you're still very much alone. And with your memories, that's what you have. So one thing I've been saying recently is that we should really focus on trying to create better memories. And that's what I really want to do with my time. I want to spend more time creating better memories and trying to really embrace uh, more positive mindsets. And I, I don't mean like toxic positivity, like ignoring the bad things in life. I think it's, it's very important to recognize what's bad and what's not good. But it's also important to move forward and move on from traumatic experiences and from negativity grow and learn from those moments and not necessarily reflect on them and keep reliving them. I'd rather relive my happy moments than my traumatic ones. And I know that we don't always have a choice. You know, sometimes things just happen. Don't think you are in control of your life. You're still making decisions. And if you do think you're in control of your life, you're still making decisions. And you still have consequences to those decisions and those actions. 
So if you are in the driver's seat or if you're not in the driver's seat, either way, if you have a means of being able to change your mind and focus on the positive things and turning negative things into positive things and learning from your experiences and growing from them and moving forward and not looking back, unless they're good memories, then go ahead, look back all you want. I don't know what I'm going with all this. I want to create better moments, though, with my cat to be able to reflect back on those. And I want to create better moments with my family and friends and people who I love and who love me, too. Life's too short for BS, you know? I mean, there's a lot of BS going around. There's a lot of negativity in the world today. But there's also a lot of good things happening, too. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that humans are better off than they ever have been as far as recorded history goes. But I think that's believable, considering the state of technology as well as our advanced agriculture, communication networks, rate of information flow, a bunch of factors considered. I think that we're at an all-time high, but we're also at a very dangerous point where science and religion and technology is on the verge of saving us or killing us all. And I'm not sure which one's doing what. That's not my business to have an opinion on that, but something to think about. Or anyways, yeah, I've talked to you off a lot. I started off with Lucy and I got onto a rant about humanity and moments and creating better ones and stuff like I do here on this channel. You never know what you're going to get. Well, everyone out there in internet land, thanks for stopping by the Paisley couch. This video has to be a little shorter today due to how long I had to stay at the vet. My 3 o'clock appointment turned into coming back around 8 o'clock and having to wait on edge, wondering when I was going to get back in there. I'm glad he took me in today, though, because there's been apparently a lot of emergency visits to this particular vet, and a lot of the other vets, they don't have any openings for another month or two. Oh yeah, if you're new to this channel, I post a new circus and flow arts tutorial video every Sunday. You can check that out inside my playlist section. If you happen to stumble on my daily blog or vlog or daily post, I post every single day for this year as an experiment to see how I evolve as a content creator here on YouTube as well as, as a personal diary of sorts, and maybe even as a means for other content creators to look back on an experiment such as this, where someone just starts off not knowing anything about YouTube or content creation, and posts every single day of the year, starting January 1st until December 31st. And just to see uh, how that plays out. How many subscribers do I get? How many likes do I get? How many watched hours do I actually manage to get? Do my videos actually improve over time, or do they just kind of slump off? Do I manage to stay for the long haul, or do I stop posting by March? Stay tuned and subscribe to know more. Okay, that's about it for today. Lucy, say goodbye to the internet. Lucy, as per usual, is speechless. All right, from the amazing Fleck and my manager here, Lucy the Cat, we'd like to remind you all to keep safe, be well, stay humble, and peace.